Good afternoon. I'm uh, Chief Andre Williams of the King Street Police Department. And the reason why we're here today is to discuss the latest of the events uh, with one of our former employees. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the, uh, the D News and uh, TY News for being here and helping us get this information out. Um, I would like to thank uh, SLED, Law Enforcement Division, and Sheriff Gardner and the Williamsburg Sheriff Department um, with their assistance with this case. <clears throat> the Sheriff Department, uh, Williamsburg Sheriff Department discovered uh, this incident. Sheriff Gardner immediately contact, con contacted me. Uh, Sheriff Gardner uh, investigative unit looked into the matter fur further and it was in the best interest, me and the sheriff thought, that we would contact SLED. Based on the evidence that uh, Sheriff Gardner investigative unit discovered, we immediately uh, suspended Salika Rose Williams, her current position, former position with the uh, King Street Police Department was a lieutenant over investigations and evidence. On July 12th, she was suspended with no pay. Through SLED investigation, they obtained a warrant for misconduct in office. She was arrested July 29, 2019. Subsequently, Ms. Williams was immediately terminated by the King Street Police Department. Also, I would like to say the men and women, uh, I have Sergeant Kirby here and Lieutenant Brockenberry, um, they are continuously to, uh, working hard to, to serve and protect the citizens of King Street Police Department. I feel this is an isolated incident it puts a black eye on law enforcement all across South Carolina. Here again, we have another officer uh, committing uh, misconduct in office. But the men and women that I have that are currently working, they're, they're uh, are working hard day and night, putting their life on the line. We're gonna move forward. We have some good officers, and we're gonna continue to serve you all. Also, I have uh, the town administrator, Mr. Richard Treen and he's coming forward in reference to a former employee for the water department. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. About six months ago, we hired a lady by the name of Betty E, who was assigned to the water department here in the town of King Street. Around the end of April, excuse me, May, of this year came to my attention through the efforts of the finance director that there were some discrepancies on, uh, concerning money paid into the water account. We immediately removed Ms. Eddie from that position, we moved her to another position, and uh, we subsequently terminated her. Now, when and, and then we also notified SLED to investigate. This situation is still being investigated by SLED. Now when issues like this happen, um, uh, it's very hurtful to the residents and to the employees of the town of King Street. As the chief pointed out, black guy is a way of putting it, but it's very hurtful. Because these two individuals that we just uh, talked about uh, had a position of trust and they violated the trust. Um, I want to say also that if uh, any uh, King Street Water customer thinks that they have been violated or taken advantage of because of this incident, please come by the town hall and we will pull your activity sheet and we will go through it. To, to my knowledge, there's only one individual we have not been able to contact, uh, but if you, if you feel like, in the back of your mind, there's some question about your water bill, please come by and talk for, to us, and we will take the time to talk to you. Now, again, uh, I believe in the town manager, but I, I believe we have some of the finest employees uh, in the state, quite frankly, and I've been around a while. I worked with and worked for, and uh, had people working for me. We have a, a wonderful group of employees here. Although everybody has their, their day in court, when something happens, this is very hurtful to us. 
And uh, like I say, it's a violation of trust. We want the people of the town of King Street to uh, continue to have trust in us and the things that we do. We want you to know that our door is always open. We're open to, to criticism and if you even think that maybe uh, we've done something wrong or uh, uh, something hurtful to you, uh, please come by and please let us uh, work it out. We um, appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate the news. We appreciate TY for coming down and uh, uh, helping us uh, to communicate with the community and we'll let them know how we feel. Thank you very much.